Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music and not so local music and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're taking a look back at 2023 and all the amazing acts that have come through the channel for interviews and many of which have performed right here in Room 6. I really, really can't say thank you enough to the just the music community in, in general for all the love and um, content <laughs> that I've gotten. So, I hope that you have a great 2024. I hope your holiday season is going wonderful and that you're safe and happy. And if not, I hope that you have access to someone who can help you with that. So with all that, let's take a look at some of the uh, funnier moments from this last year. Enjoy. Oh, oh yeah, but I didn't say that we were Cuba. Wait, 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 wait. That's it's important. Happened. It's okay. Yeah, because it's Spanish. Yeah, use mine. Use yeah. mine. It's funny. I think that mine is right, very, wait, wait, wait. very... That's cool. It's my favorite piece of pizza. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty Sicily, 1912. Anyway. <laughs> Golden Girls, anybody? Small. Welcome to the show. Thank you. My... Clink. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh. Lovely merch. Speaking of which, I can write a song that's based on Sorry. Josh spilling his shot glass right here. Oh, it's empty. And it's acoustic. You're also a Star Wars fanatic. That's, um, you ever cosplay? No. Um, well, right now. Hello there. I'm, 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 <laughs> hello there. <laughs> I knew I wanted to like do something creative, but I think at that stage I still wanted to grow up and be a knight and like fight dragons and save ladies. Um, <laughs> you know what's been hilarious right now is people are comparing me to uh, the guy that played Data on Star Trek. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I mean, I, I can kind of see it, a, li a little bit of Brent Spiner, but but the, the cheekbones though, yo. Happy belated birthday. Thank you very much. Four days ago, I believe. Time for recording. Yes, yes. Four days ago. So what are you, 29 now? Uh, plus shipping and handling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's super interesting. I've never been asked this question. I've been asked, you know, like, what's something I would have done different or advice for other people, but like... Oh, we, that's a whole... Yeah, long yeah, long. yeah, 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 yeah. But, that, that's uh, when the alcohol comes out. <laughs> <laughs> so I know Joey Hines. <laughs> oh. And the May Before. <laughs> I'm not going to say what I want to say because it's within the first 10 minutes of a YouTube video, but... Joey, you know what I'm thinking. All right, wait, let's say it at the same time. All right. Venue. Three, wait, two, two, one. one. House, House of Blues. Blues. <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, that's the uh, one, yeah. Keep peace touched. You what? <laughs> <laughs> so Good night, everybody. Sure. <laughs> uh, can we talk about show choir Ohana? <gasps> oh, my Lanta. That is awesome. You just screw that out. That was ready. Okay. I know, right? It was such a culture shock when I moved down there. I'm like, what? I can't get wine at the grocery store? You know? No. Nope. Uh, like, it yep. was so crazy. I was have like, you, I have to go to the liquor store. This is done. Have you done the pilgrimage? <laughs> have you done the pilgrimage to the Montana border for fireworks and alcohol? Quick question. Yes, sir. From Cornwall to New York to Vegas? That was my He's Canadian. I am Canadian. And because of that, uh, because of that, before you get into that whole Exodus story, I'm sure you were moved for part of that. You, <laughs> you, you didn't decide. Yeah. I, I, hold out your hands and close your eyes and you will get a big surprise. <laughs> Movie magic. Whoa, hold up. Who want to trust me? <laughs> hey, I need to speak with the producer. <laughs> It was at this moment that he knew. Just welcome to the stage, special guest. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, because it was like I was trying to leave work, and it was like someone was like, yeah. it "Was like, hey, we got to talk about some effect." And I'm like, "Do we like have right now?" <laughs> like, My first band, I actually played with Joe Son. I was started singing, and we were, you know, trying to do a heavy. Was like, that Pink Eye Twenty Three? <laughs> yeah, Pink Eye, Pink Eye Twenty Three. <laughs> that was that it. Was the best name. That's, I, I, I didn't. I didn't really notice that, but that's actually genius. That's you're creating your own little like Marvel universe, you know, your own little Yeah, universe. yeah, no, exactly. That's really awesome. Like a bunch of freaks and geeks, um a bunch of shows that if you're you know, a younger person you're like, I don't know what you're talking about. 
And I know exactly what you're talking about, and I wish. Yeah. <laughs> and um, this is the closest I've gotten to wearing a cape on stage, although it is my dream. I don't know who told you that. I'm just trying to live up to my Patronus, Sean Evans from Hot Ones. Hey. You, sir, are a founding father of a bed and breakfast? Of a bed and breakfast? Sacred Stash Studios. It, oh, you know, oh I was you know, yeah, that, that would have been crazy. Yeah, I was, I was thinking in my head, I was like, Dad, did I buy a bed and breakfast? I don't know, man. I, I don't <laughs> If you had to give an elevator pitch, how would you describe Jazz Robertson's music? Go. Oh gosh, an elevator pitch. I'd say Jazz mm -hmm. Robertson's music is a little bit of rock, a little bit of pop, a little bit of metal, metalcore, and a whole lot of drama. <laughs> wow. So there was a fair chance that we could have gotten canceled if <laughs> if yeah. he just so went. Hit, hit, like, he was right. <laughs> Yeah, you're there were there were definitely a lot of a lot of I'm sorry, mom moments in that video. Nice. I want to get a little bit more introspective, if you don't mind. Send it. Send it. Send it. Full send. Um, if you let's start a fight. Okay. Yeah. You're talking to the right people. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's really the delivery. You, you can't play angry ukulele. Uh, I, guess, I guess if I were to You're say something to little me. Anyway, what? If I were to say something to little me, I would have said something like, I don't know, show the ladies what the fingers can do. <laughs> nice. <laughs> when you're young. Girls would be like, yeah, what? Right. What? Yeah. What is one thing that you wish you or someone could tell little you about this twisted road that is making music uh, that, that you wish you had known and uh, or that you wish you knew was going to happen? And... Don't do it. Just kidding. <laughs> Don't do it, girl. Don't do it. Um, and I have been making music since I was six years old. Wow. I was going to get to it the opera. It wasn't good. <laughs> nothing wrong with MCR. Nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with it. I will defend them, okay? <laughs> and I started, I, I thought that they were the pinnacle of metal. Of, <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's something wrong with that statement. Absolutely. <laughs> Try this one off for size. How about... <laughs> A cosmic fusion of everything that moves you. Uh, I like that. Yeah. A cosmic fusion. Another. Back to you. All right. Oh, can I say hi to my wife and kid? Fine. You know what? Give me a freaking break, okay? I have been a freaking diva for forty freaking years. Swing with me and the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I got hepatitis from going to a shit concert. Thanks. Can't catch what you already got. <laughs> Nice. You know, we're just out here spreading the seed. More Wait a second. Wait a second. Fine, I'm Hell yeah. That's Good night, right. everybody. Sowing the seed. Excuse me? To you, to me, to Margie, who did the shot already, doing the toast, <laughs> and flipped us <laughs> off. You, you mentioned Melodica when he started going into that yeah, story. I have one. Oh, yeah. I'm office. aware because the last gig we ever played, the gig where he quit by text message. <laughs> when you write, you write just basically with the thought of, I'm going to be doing this by myself. I'm not going to be involving any other musicians, right? Yes. Okay. If I can offer a suggestion. Yo. Had short hair. He was wearing his. It was like a Halloween time. <laughs> he was wearing his Spider-Man onesie. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> no, one of the most hilarious. <laughs> I would have found it if it was if it was on your page. I would have found it, it. It was one of the most hilarious things ever. Cause... I would have pulled that crap out. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see. A, I want to see a punk rock quinceanera. That's what I want. Oh I'll yeah. See. yeah. Oh, I've always wanted to start an acoustic death metal rap band. That's not a thing yet. Wait for it. And what so is nice. that message? If you can cons condense it to a, a sound bite. Let us tell you. Jax, go ahead. <laughs> Question Nicely done. everything. Yes, that. Everything. What uh what what do you what's your like favorite cut to give? What's your specialty? Uh I'm like more I do a lot of mullets. Thorn <laughs> <laughs> drive! Sorry, what? So many street names. Cliff and I had a band in high school called Thorn Drive. Oh, that's not what I heard at all. Oh, yeah! no! <laughs> oh! Moving on! <laughs> I was just like, where is this? Yeah. <laughs> which is which is, which do you think is better? Castlevania game or Castlevania series? Uh the answer is yes. <laughs> I'm going to ask a question that we all hate to get. 
Okay? I apologize in advance. <coughs> Please don't hurt me. <laughs> How would you define your band's musical style? Go! <laughs> Elevator pitch. Uh, go to shortfusemusic.com <laughs> and listen to it and figure it out for Sir, yourself. That's the best answer anybody's ever given to that question. <laughs> With that, I don't know about you, I'm getting a little low. I think we're going to take a quick little booze break and hear a message from future Josh. Booze break! Whoa! Uh, next, one, two, three, not it. I was going to do rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Why is it? Okay. What's the matter? Fuck. Sucker, I, I took your game and you just... <laughs> Congratulations, you just got played. Let's circle back to that first question about your earliest musical influence. Oh, okay? Yeah. Oh. We're going to talk to little you. <laughs> really, this question is designed to talk to like like new musicians or people who are like, how do I be like you? You know. Well, in that case. And so, get over here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't generally ask what's the goriest thing cause if, unless you want a horror show. <laughs> but I I also know that like you never ask a nurse what's the strangest thing someone ever put up their butt. You know. Yeah. You're gonna hear, you're gonna hear weird things like light bulbs and right. So, yeah. um, but I, switching <laughs> switching gears, switching gears. If you told. The version of me that thought that was cool back then, that like, oh, is the, you a Maroon 5 fan? I would have been like, no. <laughs> Good up. Yeah. I'm an edgelord. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love putting together these, these montage look back videos because they just, a smile just grows on my face as I'm editing it, watching how much fun has been had both in down and below in my kitchen and up here in room six seriously have a great 2024 thank you for being part of room six if you haven't subscribed already i would recommend doing it and um you know ring the bell because there's some really cool stuff happening in the future and you don't want to miss out what else oh yeah remember to be amazing we'll see you in 2024 on room six